Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I just posted another video on how to use a, a piece of software that will draw a puzzle out. But I've never used it before, and, and I thought, I've always done it this way. Why not kind of show how to do this? So I've got a, I've already made my size of the puzzle I want, which is an 8 by 10 photo. And then this is where a little bit of artistic help helps, but I'm not very artistic. So I'm going to just go show you on the freehand tool. And that doesn't look too bad, but you can... You know, move these around till you get what you want. And what I would do is encompass them all and turn them into cusp. And when you turn them into cusp, then only one handlebar, you know, moves the item. The other handlebar, you know, if you're not using it, doesn't move. But I'm not going to take a lot of time. But you can see what I did. So I made this one. And you're done. So all you have to do is control D. Mirror it, well, sorry about that, mirror it the other way. And then bring it up and your, if you, if you have your objects where they'll snap to object, get right on that node and it's going to snap right there to that node. Then what I would do is, I'm going to make a duplicate of this for, a, if you mess anything up and you're taking some time drawing that, then I'm going to gulp these two. And I'm going to arrange and group them together. I'm going to move them over. Snap to object. And I'm there. So we need, you know, probably one more. And you can see I really don't need that other one. And I'm going to show you a little trick here. So just get off of it and then snap to it. We don't really want this. So right now you can delete it. You delete that overhang. Because this line is going to stop it from coming. Now we've got a, we're going to group all these together. And we've got 8 inches. So let's try an offset of 1.5. So I'm setting my nudge factor on one and a half inches. Let's get on our line duplicate, move it down. That don't look too bad. Control D, Control D, Control D. That doesn't look too bad. You can maybe, if I was doing this for real, I maybe would uh, start this one a little lower and, and maybe not have as many. But you can see you can move these around. And then just take one more of these, Control D. Rotate it 90 degrees. And this is kind of where the fun starts. You don't want those pieces in the middle of the line, so you're going to have to stretch it or reduce it. That doesn't look too bad right there. Let's control. Let's control. Control D. And this is where you're going to probably want to hand select them because this is going to be your puzzle. They don't have to be perfect, but while you're doing this, just look down every line. And I think we're good. These pieces here might be a little bit too little. So you could, okay, let's do this. Let's just leave it like it is. Uh, these pieces aren't going to work, I've just noticed. So let's move them up. And this way, they're ever. You know, if you move them up, almost every line is a little bit different. So somebody actually, if you were making a real puzzle, uh, every piece would be a little bit different. So I think we're good. Uh, this line doesn't, isn't connected, so you'll take your shape tool. You're going to have to break it apart. Bring your shape tool. Well, I must not have been on the, on the line. There, I got an arrow. Put it up to the node. Now, you've got a few left over. 
that are a little long, just take your virtual segment delete key. Whoop. And you see, there's a few more. I'm not going to take the time in the video to do it, but you could trim these off. And so let's just save the time. And you would, you'd maybe want bigger pieces here, maybe move this over. But what I was going to show also, let's say you bring in this one and you've, you've got it all done, but you want it to be a uh, five by seven. I made it seven of seven, so there's your five by seven puzzle. All right. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.